Creed 3, in 2002 Los Angeles, a young Adonis Donny Creed, sneaks out with his best friend, Golden Gloves champion Damien Diamond Dame Anderson. Watch him compete in an underground boxing match. After Dame's victory, he tells Donny about his aspirations to turn professional and become a world champion. During a detour at a liquor store, Donny impulsively attacks a man named Leon, and Dame is arrested while Donny escapes. In the present day, Donny has retired from boxing to focus on his wife Bianca, and their daughter Amara, whose hearing impairment has since led the family to become fluent in American Sign Language. Donny runs Delphi Boxing Academy with Tony Little Duke Evers Jr. and is promoting his protege, world champion Felix El Guerrero Chavez, in a match against Victor Drago. While the two watch the declining health of Donny's adoptive mother Mary Ann, Amara aspires to become a boxer like Donny which gets her into trouble at school for punching another student. Released from prison, Dame reconnects with Donny and shares his desire to resume his boxing career. Donny reluctantly invites Dame to the gym, but his presence draws scorn from Chavez and Duke. Dame later visits Donny's home, where he meets his family, and recounts their time together at a group home, a story that Bianca had never heard. Privately, Dame asks for a title shot against Chavez, but Donnie refuses. After Drago is attacked by an unknown assailant at a party for Bianca's record label, which casts doubt on his ability to participate in his upcoming fight, Donnie nominates Dame as Drago's replacement. Dame wins the undisputed heavyweight championship in a fight against Chavez at Crypto.com Arena. Following the match, an uneasy Donnie visits Mary Ann, who shows him letters Dame had written to Donnie while in prison that she kept from him due to her, believing that he was a bad influence. One letter contains a picture showing Dame with a fellow inmate that Donnie recognizes as Drago's assailant. Realizing Dame orchestrated the attack, Donnie confronts him, and Dame admits that he manipulated him into getting the title shot. Donnie is unable to open up to Bianca about his guilt over Dame who revels in his newfound fame and publicly slanders Donnie as a fraud who turned his back on him. 